Artemis is an incredibly powerful physical demon that you can get access to rather early on in the game. The main draw to Artemis is her unique physical skills and stellar resistances. For this build, I will be taking a similar approach to my Loki build, in which I provide a solid base that functions well on its own that you can then take and make alterations to in order to fit your own personal playstyle and needs. The skill set that I have put together for this base build is designed such that it can be made at a relatively early stage in the game, hence the lack of resist physical. I will, of course, provide a sample in-game version of the build as well though. To that end, we have the build that you see on screen. Astral Saint Strike and Somersault are kept from Artemis' unique skills to serve as her bread and butter. Somersault is a decently hard-hitting physical skill that also applies two instances of Rakunda to a single foe, and Astral Saint Strike hits 15 times to random enemies for a combined total potency of 300. I replaced her final unique skill, Head Crush, with Restore, but this is entirely personal preference, so feel free to keep Head Crush instead of taking Restore if that's what you prefer. Next is Safeguard, which is taken to help make Astral Saint Strike more, well, safe. Because Astral Saint Strike hits random targets, it does lose value in multi-target situations, but more importantly, it could potentially miss some enemies or hit those that are immune to physical damage. Safeguard is taken to eliminate this weakness to the skill, allowing it to be used without fear of it potentially costing you press turns. After that we have Resist Fire and Resist Force. These are taken to shore up Artemis' one weakness and make her resist or immune everything except physical damage. Finally, Great Life Spring and Great Mana Spring are taken for their ability to provide more MP efficiency and tankiness for Artemis. For an in-game version of this build, you can replace Restore with High Restore for even more MP efficiency, and of course upgrade Resist Fire and Resist Force with their Null counterparts. The last changes to make would be replacing Great Life Spring and Great Mana Spring with Null Physical and High Physical Pleroma to create a very solid physical damage focused demon. So now that we've gotten the build explanation out of the way, let's make ourselves an awesome Artemis. Alright, so as usual, we are going to need to prepare a few demons ahead of time for this fusion. We're going to want a Poltergeist at least at level 28. You're going to need an Angel. You're going to need a Valkyrie, needs to be at least level 41. Apsaris. Wapo. Cyranup, Makami, and Bikorn. Once we have all that, we can start with the first step, which is going to be fusing Poltergeist with Angel in order to make a Rakshasa. And here we want to be passing down Resist Force. Nothing else really matters. Alright, once that's done, we're going to take this Rakshasa and we're going to fuse it with Valkyrie in order to make a Pisaka. And here we are passing down Safeguard and Resist Force. Alright, so it's at this point that we can also go ahead and talk about what step 3 would be. If your Pisaka levels up to 37 like mine did, specifically actually 33 is what we're looking for, uh, you will get the opportunity to learn Resist Fire. So if it levels up like it has right now for me, just go ahead and make sure you learn Resist Fire. If it does not, you will need to do the third step, which will be to learn Resist Fire on your Pisaka. And once that's done, we can take this Pisaka and we can fuse it with Apsaurus to make a Shikyoji. And we're going to be passing down Safeguard, Resist Force, and Resist Fire. Alright, and now we can take this Shikyoji and fuse it together with Wapo. And here we're going to be passing down, of course, Safeguard, Resist Fire, and resist force. I should also mention at this point that if you wanted to get rid of one of the other abilities that I have in order to get uh, Acrobat Kick, you actually could. If you've seen my Finn video, I used Yabusame Shot as a way to generate extra press turns every single turn. Acrobat Kick can be an excellent way to do that in the early game. So if you feel you want to do that, feel free to grab it here because um, it's the easiest way to get it. You may need to level up uh, Satanta, he learns it at level, I believe, 38. So just keep that in mind that if you want to go with that route, uh, this is an easy way to get that ability on to your Artemis. Uh, but for the video and the showcase and the build we're going for, we're just grabbing Resist Fire, Safeguard, and Resist Force. And 
And with that, we're actually ready to go ahead and fuse Artemis. So I'm going to go ahead and, with the power of editing, move right over to her special fusion. All right, and here we are at Artemis's special fusion. So we're going to be taking her abilities, and we're going to be making sure that with this, we are passing down... Resist Fire, Safeguard, Restore, and Resist Force. Alright, so the last step is going to be to do a couple Essence Fusions. We're going to be doing an Essence Fusion for Baihu and Horus. So I'm going to go ahead and move down to the Baihu first. And once there, you'll select the Baihu, and you'll keep the abilities you want. And make sure that you grab Great Life Spring. And then next, we'll do the same thing for Horus. And once you found your Horus, go ahead and select it. Keep the abilities you're wanting to keep for the build. And make sure that you select Great Mana Spring. And that completes the base build for Artemis. Like I said, this is a base build that works very well. However, it can be modified in many different ways. You can be you can choose to get rid of Restore, you can choose to get rid of Great Life Spring or Great Mana Spring. There's a lot of customizability to it. The main things is that you want to at least be keeping Astral Saint Strike, Somersault, Resist Fire, Safeguard, and Resist Force. And other than that, it's really up to you. So, hope you like the build. And that'll do it for this build guide of Artemis and Shin Megami Tensei 5. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash roslangaming or my Discord server, both of which are linked in the video description below. Also, if you like the build and video, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, take care.